Guten Tag, Sylvia. Guten Tag, Mikael. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Peter is asking if he should say hello. Why not? <laughs> hi, <laughs> hi, Peter. We will set up crop maps for CWADM. Mm -hmm. What we have to do is create per cell the fraction of that cell that's covered by a specific crop. Both the rain-fed version and the irrigated version of that crop. So two separate mm -hmm. maps. You found crop maps from SPAM. Yes, I can show you where I found it. One could use their own crop maps or crop maps from any other study, but SPAM mm -hmm. offers crop maps uh, globally for uh, many different crops. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if I just Google map SPAM and I just look what I, what I found, so um, they have a website where they explain uh, where the data is coming from, where this, this spatial production allocation model, and uh, they have uh, sections that explain the data, the methodology, and uh, either here, or I think I went also here, data center, yes. So SPAM 2017 would be the most recent data, but it's only for Africa. So for having global data, we need to download SPAM 2010. And then it redirects to this uh, um, uh, database from Harvard. And here it's possible to download um, the files for, um, they are divided by the, um, how do you say, the type of variable. So harvest area, physical area, production area in different formats. So um, CSV, DBF, GeoTIFF, that is what we will need, right? Okay. So we're interested in harvest area, GeoTIFF. The yeah, physical area that would could be this one. also be interesting and the production could also be interesting. Mm -hmm. Maybe at a next stage, but this harvested area geotiff sounds good. Mm -hmm. And this is what you have. Yes, yes. So to download it, you just need to click here, then fill it out name, email, position. No, not even position, institution. Accept it, and then it can be downloaded. And it's already done. So I can show you how the data looks like. I have it here. I have downloaded both CSV and GeoTIFF. Um, I don't know, maybe I can just open it in CSV for better see it. So this is the harvest area. And then it's uh, there are different data set um, depending on the um, type of um, um, Input level and input. if it's irrigated or not? Yes, yes. How do you say that input? Yeah. So they have uh, different categories, but the most important one is uh, um, E, which is irrigated. Um, R, which is uh, the total of rain fed. And I think A is the total of all, but we will need irrigated and a rain fed. So E and R. And right? L? Is L low is low input rain fed. H is high input rain fed, I think. I have it all written. And th this, yes. is in, this is available on the spam website. Yes, yes, yes. Um, this is what it's downloaded. So when you download harvest area, you download this folder and then inside there are all these uh, single files. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the same for the GeoTIFF, okay. but of course it's less uh, um, intuitive <laughs> to see. And then of course for the single, inside each um, file there are the, there is the data for all the crops which are in total 42. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's create the fractional maps resulting from these. So this yes. is in the unit of uh, hectares. 
So 10,000 meters squared. Yes. So we need to open ArcGIS. One could do this with QGIS or ArcMap, and we'll use ArcGIS Pro. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can create a new project. Yeah, we'll just call it my project three. It's fine. Okay. Now oh, it's already focused there. <laughs> In the area we need. We okay. will clip this with a basin map, a pixelated, a pixelated basin map of the Danube Basin at five arc minutes, mm -hmm. which we got last time. Mm -hmm. uh, and the map of cell area. So the mm -hmm. area in meters squared of each cell within the Danube Basin. Yes, Which we exactly. also got last time. Okay, so I can import the data. So I go here, map on the upper menu, then add data, add data to the map. Or it can be also just uh, taken from the folder and- uh, Dragged over. Yeah, but also like this works. And then I go on the folder where the data is. Mm -hmm. So the data for um, map spam is here. I need this. And remember now if I, oh yeah, I need to select all of them. So perhaps we could just start with one crop and then yeah, follow the workflow. Awesome. So I can take um, wheat irrigated. Sure. sure, wheat irrigated and rain fed. And rain fed, yes, sorry. These two. Okay. okay, it's working. We try to import ah, sorry, app. there was a message okay. on the other <laughs> with two screens. Ah, uh, yeah, it asks it asks if to calculate statistics. I would say yes. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whoops. Okay, and here we have the data for both of them. Then we need to add. As you said before, the T file for the, the new basin. I think I have them here. Yes, which is this one. And the um, cell total area. Yes, the cell area, which was an output from CWADM. So the mm -hmm. basin.tiff will import easily, but I, as the cell area is a net CDF, I, we'll see, but I imagine it gives an error when we try to import like this. So let's import the basin first. Okay. Okay. So if we try the same with this, yeah, it says with, which is an unsupported data type. So what we did last time was to, yeah, it's already. Make netcdf raster layer. Exactly. It can be searched with the command here. So this transformed the netcdf file in a raster layer. Yes. And we are doing this with static maps. So we mm -hmm. are just creating us a... Uh, an example of wheat for one year mm -hmm. or 2010 in this example. Yeah. If it was for more, we would need the um, 
feature layer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oops. Uh, oh, it was your processing. Okay. So we need the input file. Maybe my project one. Uh, no, sorry, my project two. <laughs> I have too too many in my projects. Yeah, it's always a, a good learning to uh, label the projects, but somehow we don't know the perfect name until afterwards. <laughs> yes. Oh, here it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then help me maybe remember there was something else that we adjusted that we need to adjust or... I think this could be fine, but when we do the raster mm -hmm. calculator, then we'll work with the environments to make sure it's it's snapped. Yeah. Okay. So run. And this creates, yeah, here it is. Okay. This creates a raster file for the um, cell area, which in appears in this very, yes, symmetry squares. Okay, so we have all the data that we need now. Yes. Now the idea is to clip the spam data using the basin map. Exactly, because we don't need it. And we don't in, need it globally. And in clipping it, we can go to the environments to make sure that uh, the, the projection is maintained and it is snapped to the raster of our basin file. Mm -hmm. So we need clip raster. We need to select uh, the raster that we want to clip. So I would start with with irrigated. Then we need uh, the raster that um, that has copy, to be used for the copy <laughs> clip. everything from the basin map. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then because the values are from zero. Starting from zero, but zero means there's nothing yes. in the cell. We, we can put no data value at zero. That's good. And then we go to the environments to make sure, as you said, that the basin is always taken as the reference. The output coordinate system mm -hmm. copies the basin. Yeah. The and snap raster snap is raster. according to basin. Mm -hmm. I think. That's it. Okay. okay. And then back in parameters, we could also click maintain clipping extent. Yes. And uh, maybe we need sure. the to maintain the information that it is the irrigated. Okay. Run. And then we have it. So this is the global, and this is the cat it for um, the area that we need, which is not exactly following the area, but it's it cuts um, following our um, rectangular. Yes, but at least still, it's, smaller. it's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then it's fine because we can anyway afterwards select only the cell that we need. Yes. Cool. Okay. And we can do the same for the other one. We just need to change here. Okay. okay uh, much more rain fit than irrigated. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is quite a difference. Okay. Okay, so we have these spam maps that are showing the value per cell in hectares, and the cells overlap perfectly because they're sharing the same projection, the five arc minute cell. Mm -hmm. So we have to turn hectares into meters squared and then divide by the cell area, which is in meters squared. That will give us the fraction of each cell that is covered in 
rain-fed wheat and the fraction of each cell that's covered in irrigated wheat. Exactly. So for this, we need the raster calculator. And uh, here we can choose on this area, the data set that we need for the calculations and on the uh, right side, the operators that we're gonna use. But in this case, it's quite an easy calculation. We just need uh, the first, um, the irrigated uh, data set, which is, as you said, in Hector. So we have to multiply for 10,000 in order to um, convert it in uh, um, square meters. Perfect. And all of this has to be divided. Yes. Yes. By the cell area. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we will need again to change the name. I would call it It. Oh, sorry. Fraction. <laughs> okay. And now we have just the cells which are present in the area in the exact basin area that we need because the cell area map only had values within the Danube Basin. Mm -hmm, exactly. Okay, cool. Let's Maybe do we that. can show it even yeah. in a more, sorry. Please. I like more when it's, yeah, <laughs> when it's more colored. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, we could do the same thing for rain fed and then export both maps. Yes. How did you get back here? Ah, sorry. <laughs> Just clicking here. Okay. So the windows remains always open unless well, that's nice. I close it here. Yeah. Then it remains open and I can access them again. And so it means that I don't have to do that from the beginning, yeah. but I can just substitute what I need. So this one. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's telling here that the um, output already exists. So we need to change the name. Okay. And here it is. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, now let's simply export these two maps as GeoTIFFs. Mm -hmm. In order to do that, we have to um, click here on their uh, name, on the content. Right click. Right click, then go to data and export raster. And here we can uh, select the output format. In this case, TIFF is the one that comes out already. And I think we don't need to change anything. And we can check the folder. Yes, it's my project tree. And we can just click export. Mm -hmm. We see we have values ranging for irrigated from 0 to 0 0.02. It's between 0 and 2% of each cell is yes. covered in wheat, irrigated wheat. Mm -hmm. And we can, and we can do the same for rainfed. So again, right click on their name, data, export cluster, check if it's everything. Uh, Correct and export. Okay, and it shows between zero and forty-seven percent of cells are covered in rain-fed wheat. Definitely higher. <laughs> Definitely higher. 
Okay. Awesome, Sylvia. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> okay. Until Welcome. next time. Yes. See you. Bye. See you. <laughs>